Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing William Marshall, The Greatest Knight. William Marshall was an English knight who served five kings. In his day, he may have been one of the most important persons in the monarchy next to the royal family itself. William's father was John Marshall or John the Marshall. He was the Lord of Newbury Castle in Berkshire. When William was a young boy, there was a fierce civil war in England between King Stephen, the grandson of William the Conqueror, and Henry I's daughter, Empress Matilda. William's father supported King Stephen when he took the throne in 1131, but around 1139, he changed sides to support Empress Matilda. When King Stephen besieged Newbury Castle in 1152, he used the young William as hostage to ensure that John Marshall kept his promise to surrender the castle. John, however, used the time allotted to reinforce the castle and alert Matilda's forces. When Stephen ordered John to surrender immediately or William would be hanged, John replied he should go ahead. He said, I still have the hammer and the anvil with which to forge still more and better sons. Subsequently, a pretense was made to launch William from a type of trebuchet towards the castle, but Stephen could not bring himself to harm young William. William remained a crown hostage until peace terms were agreed at Winchester in November 1153 when the Civil War ended. At the age of around 12, William was sent to Tancarville to learn the skills of knighthood. He lived in this chateau with William, a cousin of William's mother. He learnt the art of chivalry, Bible stories, Latin prayers and practical lessons in court life. In 1166, he was knighted on campaign in Upper Normandy, which was then being invaded by Flanders. In 1167, he was sponsored by William de Tan Carville in his first tournament, where he began to develop skills that later made him a tournament champion. In 1170, William was appointed as young Henry's tutor in arms by young Henry's father, the King Henry II. Marshall was loyal to young Henry during the revolt of 1173 to 1174 and after Henry's failed rebellion went with him travelling for 18 months before being given permission to take part in knightly tournaments. Between 1176 and 1182 both Marshall and the young Henry gained prestige from winning tournaments. Tournaments were dangerous, often deadly and battles that were staged had money and valuable prizes to be won. Marshall became a legendary tournament champion. On his deathbed, he recalled besting 500 knights during his tournament career. In late 1182, Marshall was accused of having an affair with the young Henry's wife, Margaret of France. By January 1183, Marshall had been removed from the young Henry's service. Young Henry declared war against his brother Richard in January 1183, with the King Henry II siding with Richard. By May 1183, Marshall had been cleared of the charges against him and returned to his service. When young Henry died on the 11th of June 1183, the young Henry asked Marshall on his deathbed to take up the cross and undertake a crusade to the Holy Land. After receiving Henry II's blessing, Marshall left for Jerusalem in 1183. After his return from the Holy Land in 1185-1186, William rejoined the court of Henry II and was given a large royal estate in Cartmel in Cumbria as his own. In 1188, Philip II of France attempted to seize the region of Berry and Henry II summoned Marshall to be by his side, although William apparently complained he had not been properly rewarded to date for his services to the king. In 1189, William unhorsed Richard the Lionheart and could have killed him but chose to kill his horse instead. 
This was when covering the flight of Henry II from Le Mans. At the age of 43, in August 1189, William Marshall married the 17-year-old daughter of Richard de Clare, who was the Earl of Pembroke. You can see Richard de Clare getting married here in this painting. Marshall made numerous improvements to his wife's estate, including adding Pembroke Castle and Chepstow Castle. William supported King John when he became king in 1199 and fought alongside him. After a time, John made William the Marshal of England. King John, though, was a man who was disliked by many of his barons and earls, and they distrusted him. When Marshall went over to protect his lands in Ireland, the king made him give one of his sons as hostage to make sure that Marshall was not disloyal to him. King John died on the 18th of October 1216 and at the time his son Henry III was too young to rule. Marshall was appointed as regent. He managed the affairs of Henry III even though he was quite old by then and he even fought in the Battle of Lincoln. On the 14th of May 1219 Marshall died at Caversham. When he knew he was dying, he took on the robe of a Knights Templar and after his death, he was buried in the Temple Church in London. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it and subscribe or follow me at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at Tanya Alex 38 or check out the new Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Tanya Alex 